It was during a family reunion that little Sylvie first made her appearance. I had heard of her birth five years previously when her parents called me for prayers. They took turns for many weeks, staying all day and through the night with their fourth child as she struggled with critical health issues. It was touch and go for a few years until they realized Sylvie's determination had helped her survive against all odds and she was going to be with them for several more years at least. When we met Sylvie and welcomed her into the large gathering of children and adults, most had not seen her before since she lives at a distance. Shy at first, she clung to her daddy but gradually ventured forth, holding tightly to whose ever hand caught hers. Very happy, healthy for her age, and heavy for her age and height, Sylvie proved too much for several cousins who tried to pick her up. I struggled to carry her, which she preferred, since it was such a challenge for her to walk. She awkwardly tried to put one foot in front of the other, and grabbed whatever was near to help her navigate her way among the children at play. The little cousins around her age looked puzzled and wondered why Sylvie looked different and why it was hard to understand her speaking and why so hard for her to play their game. But as the day wore on, cries of little Sylvie, little Sylvie were heard all over the house and the playground as the cousins vied to be the one she clung to. I noticed Sylvie's older siblings were proud to watch out for her, and I saw Sylvie's unusual smile break through when her dad, never far off, came along to scoop her up in rescue from all the children. I thought how blessed is that family to have such a special child among them, and what a special blessing little Sylvie brought to the larger family gathering that day. And I prayed for the many, many little Sylvies of this world who are not surrounded by a family who cherishes them. Let us pray for them. O Jesus of compassion, who said, Let the children come to me, hear and answer this prayer. We bring the needs of suffering children to you. We pray for the many families who have a child with special needs. May these adults respond to their children's helplessness with love and care. May the children's trust and innocence touch their families with love for them. May your desire, God of love, for their well-being penetrate the hearts of caregivers of children with special needs. May exposure to one such little child help families and nurses to be patient and gentle with these special children. May the dependence of one such child enable the family and community to reach out to them with love and understanding. In your compassion, hear the prayers of the 17.8% of families who, in 2015, cared for a child with a developmental disability. We pray that medical researchers will discover methods that will prevent babies from being born with defects. We pray that advanced medical treatments will reverse the disabling results of birth defects among millions of children throughout the world. Let us pray for them. O God, in your compassion, you reached out to take Jairus' ill daughter by the hand and healed her. In your mercy, you raised the centurion's sick servant and the son of the widow of Naim from the dead. Look with this same loving kindness and compassion on children with special needs and their families. Touch their hearts with courage and trust in your love for them. We ask this prayer in God's holy name. Amen.